Hi everyone, welcome to week number five. Congratulations on finishing your Precy. Charlotte and I are reading them and grading them this week. We should have them back to you by Thursday. This is generally the regular rhythm. I try to get most of your assignments back within the week and then you can look at them, look at the feedback that we give to you and then you can ask any questions that you might have on them. I've really enjoyed reading them so far. I think I've read most of the To Change the World Precy's. Uh, Charlotte grades all the Strength to Love Precies. She's an expert on that book. And she's, for maybe five years as my TA, graded that uh, Precy. And so, um, yeah, she's doing that one. And then I do uh, all the others. Um, if you want to look at, like, a few more Precies in ethics uh, textbooks and those kind of things, I did a blog. And you can just look Ron Sanders at WordPress.com or... 70 books in 70 days. I was studying for my comprehensive exams and so I would do a one-page summary of the books that I thought were important and that I was studying for my uh, comps and um, I'd read them, do an outline, then write a one-page summary of it. And so if you want to look at more of those, uh, some of your textbooks actually uh, might be on there. Um, so yeah, you can look at, you look at that if you'd like to. Um, Week number five, it's a deliberately an easy week. One, to catch your breath. Um, the first four weeks of the quarter are a flurry. A lot of reading, catching up with the rhythm, um, the precy, and then a lot of theory along the way. And so uh, we're going to make a turn this week, a little bit of theory this week, but then uh, move to more practical application of the different the four different models or methods of doing ethics, the narrative method, the passage-centric method, the topical method, um, and ethics from the margins. And so we're going to begin to look at some specific cases and those kinds of things. So you have a short article, and I think it's 20 pages. I wrote it. Um, I was doing an independent uh, reading with uh, Dr. Mark Futado at Reformed Theological Seminary in Orlando on Genesis, and I um, wanted to make the connection between the Gospel of John and uh, the creation narrative in Genesis 1 uh, through 11, but especially 1 through 3. So you'll see that there. Um, so you're reading that, and that'll be your that'll be your writing reflection, your quiz this week. Uh, this week is also designed that if you got a little bit behind due to circumstances or just, you know, didn't quite get the rhythm, uh, you can catch up and turn in any late assignments, late quizzes, those kinds of things this week without any penalty. So um, please, you know, if you need a chance to catch up, please take this week as a chance to catch up. If you need to catch your breath, then please uh, catch your breath. If you want to read ahead, then you can uh, take up the books that are coming and the articles that are coming in the weeks to come. So we have week number five, week number six, and week number seven. In week number seven, I'm going to release the groups for your group projects and the assignments. And then week number eight is your group project week, and you'll turn in your group project. Week number nine, you're going to read each other's group projects and reflect on them and have a chance to interact on them. And then week number 10, you're going to submit a proposal for your final paper or project. So that's kind of what it's going to look like for the rest of the quarter. And then in as we turn to more practical stuff, we're going to look at a few questions. Um, especially, we're going to look a little more in depth at the question of identity, race, uh, racial justice, those kinds of questions. Um, and so that will be in week number six. We'll start that up. Okay, so how to have a successful week. Catch your breath. Catch up. Read the article. Uh, a short quiz um, this week and a writing reflection. And then if you'd like to read ahead, please uh, feel free to read ahead and, um, and get any of the things that you need to get done in advance done. All right. So far, a uh, great class. Really appreciate all the hard work, the thoughtfulness that you all are participating in class with. So, yeah, thanks a lot.